They're two of the biggest bottlenecks in Hampton Roads, and they're getting the attention of the people who make decisions about making your commute better. Two local road projects are now high priority, and it couldn't make local officials any happier. Many of you take two of the busiest, most congested routes in Hampton Roads. Yeah, tonight, those two roads are big on the list of what needs to be fixed first. Live pictures now, the 264-64 interchange and the high-rise bridge in Chesapeake. VDOT says something needs to be done, and they've pitched it to the people who make the ultimate decision. Tonight on your side, Laura Queso joins us with more on the process ahead for making your commute easier. Laura? Yeah, and these improvements could increase your travel speed up to 40%. Funds are given out based on need, and local leaders say there's clearly a need in Hampton Roads. We got ourselves in a pretty big hole, and now we're trying to get out of it. And Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessom says we are slowly digging out. He serves on the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Commission. The $150 million that we just received allows us to keep moving forward with the projects that we have planned. That's $100 million for phase one of the high rise bridge and $50 million for the I 264 64 interchange. Those funds will allow the projects to move forward because of the funding already in place with the commission. With a combination of these dollars, it allows us to move forward with these projects. Projects, he says, are vital for the economy of Hampton Roads. I cannot have a four star admiral tell me again that. The relationship that we have with the Navy is in jeopardy because of military readiness if we don't move, aren't able to move our sailors on, on our roads. The I-264-64 interchange and phase one of the high-rise bridge rank in the top four for the state on the smart scale for congestion, environment, and accessibility. The smart scale is research-based. It breaks down the need for each region. What has been a tremendous negative for Hampton Roads for a number of years is our transportation system not meeting the demand. We are finally in a position to change that and make it much better. He says this is a historic move in the right direction. That uh, we have some severe needs, not major needs, some severe needs to, you know, fixing our transportation system. And we're in the process of doing that. Now, based on the smart scale, the revenue should be coming in this summer. Of course, we'll stay on top of it and the process to follow. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.